In today's video, we're taking a look at how to fix your hydroponics growing system water level readout easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do everything that we use on the video. We're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot, thank you. So you woke up today and went to see your garden. You notice it's asking for water, but you know you already put water on it. You opened the hatch and you saw it's full of water. So you said to yourself, it's one of those days. Then you went ahead and pressed every button on that panel that exists. You disconnected it, you reset the pump, you reset the system, and you set some words to it that now you're thinking is taking revenge on you. Don't worry, here at the Stata Box team, we've got your back. And this is basically gonna work for most brand systems. The first thing that we're gonna do is disconnect it from the wall. Next, we're gonna disconnect the power to the system. And if in the top, you have a secondary connection, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect that one. Because even though that this is low voltage, the last thing you want on a clear sunny day is to die. And now comes the part of the the video where you murder your whole garden. I mean, we dislocate, I mean, we remove the top parts with the plants, if in your case you have plants in them, and place them in a safe location. In our case, we're using the sink. You might have to raise the light system to be able to take them out. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the reservoir and remove all the water. Now that you broke your system, I mean, now that your system has lost value, I mean, now that we remove the water, we can take a look at the culprit. This is the level meter that is causing you all the headache. But don't worry, here today it's met its match. We're gonna go ahead and remove the cover. You might have to use some wiggle action and call on your door strength to remove it. But at the same time, you want to be gentle because remember, everything's plastic. And as you can see, it does have roots that prevent the measuring gauge from moving or floating up and down, therefore sending the signal to the the system that it has water. And as you can see, here's the floating device. And basically what usually happens is that the root impede that the floater device dances every time you pour water. So basically what we're gonna do is clean the cover plus the floating device and make sure that we don't have any debris, roots, dirt, or grime that is not letting it function correctly. Now that we gave our victims the best massage, wash of their life, we also wanna make sure that we clean the reservoir of any debris or loose roots that might float back in there. Now we're one step closer to victory. We're going to reverse engineer our way to glory. And what we want to make sure first is that we align the tab on the floater with the tab on the reservoir. Then on our cover, we're going to see a notch that we want to make sure that it aligns and it's inserted on the tab once we push down. And now you've done it, grasshopper. You become one with the water world. You and Aquaman, Aquawoman, Aqua both, or Aqua none are ready to take on the world. Now we're ready to bring our plants back. We go ahead and connect everything back. And as you can see, it's marking low now. But as we start filling the water back again, we're going to notice the levels change to their correct amounts. And now you can pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone on the Statabox team or someone on the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.